everybody. Smoky Bay welcomes you. This place is renowned for its oyster farms. It's got one of the best jetties and a really great place called the Rock Pool. You certainly don't want to miss that. It's awesome as you'll see in the, my upcoming video. We've just arrived in Smoky Bay. We're having a look at the foreshore while we wait to get in our caravan park. And they have this super huge long jetty. We will obviously be taking a walk on there, plus a shark enclosed safe swimming area. Just point brown is absolutely beautiful. Nice beach if the weather holds, we'll be back. When the high tide comes in, the water flows over these rocks and you can see where there's a waterfall effect happening, filling up this pool. Then the tide goes out, the pool sits in the hot sun all day and gets warm and you've got a warm, calm, out of the wind pool to swim in. It's gorgeous. Here's a look at some of the equipment used when uh, growing these oysters. Smoky Bay Seafoods. Here's all the oyster factories and their sales. We're buying a dozen oysters. We're just going to get them shucked for us and take them back to camp and cook them up for lunch. Well, here's our dozen fresh shucked oysters. We're taking straight to the caravan. And Grant's going to kill Patrick them and have them for lunch. I'm going to quickly cook up these oysters that we just bought fresh off of the boat this morning. Oysters kill Patrick. It's a very quick recipe and uh, really tasty. Here are the beautiful oysters that we bought this morning straight off of the boat about uh, 15 minutes ago. 
they were in their shells the lady at the uh, factory shucked them for us and said go right home and cook them up right away they'll be the best that way so oysters Kilpatrick coming right up we have an alfoil tray that's uh, made for cooking oysters on the grill or in the oven so transfer from the uh, packaging you brought them in and pop them in the foil and then it's time to load them up with the goodies which is Tabasco sauce, Worcestershire sauce and a little bit of ham or bacon. First we'll put the uh, ham on or bacon, your choice. It's really easy, quite quick. Just before you put them in under the grill which can be heating while you're doing this uh, some Worcestershire sauce over the top of the bacon and then a, to taste a dab or two of Tabasco on each one and then you're ready to put them onto the grill and now we just place them under the grill and you've got to be careful with these they cook really quickly it's only a minute or two after a minute or two uh, you'll you'll hear it or you can see the uh, the juice bubbling there when it's all hot and ready to go it's time to take them out of the grill and eat them lovely the proof's in the pudding or in the tasting in this case so serve with wine or beer, whatever's to your taste. I'm a beer guy. We'll give these a go. Oh, those shells are hot, be careful. Beautiful. Do yourself a favour. Get some fresh oysters off the boat. <coughs> Tabasco's got a kick. And uh, cook them up fresh.